Hey there! Today I'd like to introduce you to Digo Outliners. Digo Outliners is a great way to organize your online resources within your Digo library, making it really easy once you need to collaborate all that information into a project or assignment or a paper. So let's get started with learning how to use Digo Outline. First thing you would do is sign into your Digo account and head over to your library. Once there, you'll see My Outliners. You would click on that. And we're going to start by creating a new outliner. Before we do that, you'll see I've already have a couple of outlines created. And I'm going to click one just to show you how they work. So it literally is just an outline of all the information that I had collected while doing research. So I entered information such as human performance engineering. And here you'll see below it are links to information on the actual article that I had previously saved. And there you have it. So what it does is I can then enter information on aviation examples along with links from my Deagle library to articles within that category. So we're going to head back to my outliners and create a new Deagle outline. So click on create outliner and enter a title so we're going to put dinosaur research and click create. Now we have a blank screen where we can start to enter our outline of our paper so we could talk about an introduction and then I could say something like dinosaurs in the news. If I click over here to add Deagle item it then gives me a list of all my resources from my Digo library. So I would very easily be able to, for example, click on this article about a PEI fossil and enter that right under Dinosaurs in the News. I could also click on the next article called Ancient Marine Reptile Found in Scotland. And there you have it. I've got my outline started. I could also continue on with my search online and go back to my CBC website to see if there's any new articles found. An interesting thing when you go to an article that you've already saved into your Deagle library is my little widget will have the red ribbon on it showing you that you've already saved this article. Now I'm going to click on this article there and this is a good article that I would like to add to my library as well as to my outliner. So I would head back up to Deagle Ah, but look, it's already been saved, so I know not to save it again. I can instead find another article. There you go. Clearly this article has not been saved. So I'm going to head up to my widget and click on Save. Now in this case, I'd like to add it to an outliner. And as you can see, I currently don't see my dinosaur outliner on here. So I'm just going to click Refresh since I just created it and there you have it. When we click on it again you'll see dinosaur research so I will save this article to not only my library but also to my outliner. I'm going to cache it so that I make sure that the article is always there for me even if the article is taken down. Put a little note Alberta dinosaur. I can again tag my article for easy access. I could also decide to share it with a group that I've created previously called Dinosaur Fun. And there we go. I save that article. If I go back to my Digo research and refresh my page, you will see that the article about dinosaurs in Alberta has been added to my outliner as well. So this is a really great way to keep track of all your research in context of whatever project you happen to be working on. Another great way that Deagle makes your life, your research online, much, much more productive. Thanks for watching.